Okay, version 2016 of MATLAB has a new tool for building graphical user interfaces. Uh, there's still one called Guide, but there's a new one called App Designer. And so I want to show you how that works. My sample will be something like this. I want to um, have this tool where I can change this constant A, and it'll give me sign of AX down here in this window. Okay, so I'm going to need a plot window. Uh, numeric field and a label right so let me walk you through how you build something like that I'll just close this so first of all I run the app designer so you just type app designer you get this tool which lets you build the app and add some code all right so this is our uh, user form to use the Excel lingo um, a label we'll put a label here and uh, the properties of that label now are over here. You can change font type, font size. We'll change that to 18. Font color. All that's flexible. All right. Um, and then the only thing I want to do is change the label to say type of value for A. Okay, and then I need a numeric field, right? You can have either text fields or numeric fields. So this is something the user would enter. Again, I'll change to an 18-point font. And instead of edit field, I want this to say, where is that? No, you don't. Oh, I need to be here. Here, perfect. So there's where it says edit field. I'll... I'll just type A. Okay, uh, and then we need a graph window. That's this axis um, object. I just drag and drop. I'll resize it. Uh, instead of having a title, this time I'll just say the Y label is sign of A X, maybe X like. Okay, so that's it in terms of how this thing looks. Um, obviously, I could work harder to make it look better, but if you just play with the properties of all these objects, there's various things having to do with the appearance of these objects. And um, notice how there are some pretty fancy little tools uh, that you might be interested in, gauges, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, so you can play around with that if you want. Um, I'm just trying to show you the basics and you can get the rest of this down on your own. So I'll delete those. Um, really, all that's left for us to do is set up this tool so that when somebody um, types something, a number into this box, it updates the plot. Notice up here on the upper right, there's a couple components listed. There's a numeric edit field, app.numeric edit field. That's the name of this box here. And app.ui axes, that's the name of this box here. So when I go to plot here, I will tell MATLAB to plot in that window. And you'll see how that works. Now the key to this is, is has to do with events. So there's an event associated with me changing this box. And I want to couple some actions or code to that event and the MATLAB lingo for doing that is callbacks. So I want to create a callback here for this field that will um, trigger the plotting when a, a change is made. So I go to this one and I get those boxes around it. I, I right click and go to callbacks and I add a new callback value changed function and I take the default. So now there's this um, numeric edit field value changed callback and any code I put in here will be um, executed when that field is changed. That is when a number is typed in, in that box. So um, I, the value here is the value of that field when the callback is triggered. Uh, I can just call this A because that's consistent with what we've been doing. And now I just have to do the plot. So I'll set up some X values. X goes 0 to 
let's say pi by 0 0.1s and I'll put in the semicolon so we don't have to see anything show up somewhere. Y is sine of A times X. And now I just do the plot and I tell it to plot in the app dot ui axes window and I plot x and y and I can use all the other plot options I want. If I want to uh, go back and forth from the code view to the design view, here's the design view where we started. Here's the code view where that code is. If I want to try this out, I just run it. And now by default it wants to save first. So um, I'm going to go to my desktop and call this um, plot sign. So you might have noticed the extension is ML app. So I get a plot sign dot ML app uh, MATLAB file on my desktop and the thing ran by default uh, once I saved it. Oh, I actually told it to run. I clicked run. So I click 2 here and press enter. I click 20 here. Press enter. Right. So it's working. I can just close it here. I can run it again here. And the other thing I can do is if I don't have the app designer window open, I can just type the name of that file, plot sign, and I can run it that way. All right, so that's basically how that works. Thanks.